The Crusade um, has an endowment program. I can't think of any better investment in the future. As a parent, I'm very grateful for what the Crusade for Children does. I don't know that we could do what we do without the Crusade. There's so many people that are impacted by the money that is raised each year. It's always good to know that 100% of the money that gets donated to the Crusade makes it to the kids. I can't take my money with me, but I can make a difference after I'm gone. To me, the Crusade is one of the best organizations across the country. So I love how the Crusade for Children gives the opportunity to give these children a chance to get out and have a good time. Every single thing that I have seen the Crusade involved with changes people's lives. We've been so grateful and overwhelmed to have the support of WHAS Crusade for Children because their mission mirrors what we want to do, putting the kid first. I want to do good. I want to leave a legacy for children because that's our future. Welcome to our annual Building the Future special to benefit the WHAS Crusade for Children. I'm Terry Miners. And I'm Haley Minogue. Thank you for spending this time with us as we take a look at a cause that we all love, the Crusade Endowment. You can donate anytime during the show using one of the apps appearing at the bottom of your screen or our website. Something new this year is scanning the QR code also on the screen. If you want to give by phone, call 582-7706 and leave a message. Someone at the WHAS Crusade for Children will get back to you. During this special, we're going to hear from families and organizations that have benefited directly from the Crusade. We'll learn traditional and unconventional online ways to support the Crusade and hear from several financial and estate experts on the best ways of building the future while you're living or afterlife legacy donations through a will. Here's Crusade President and CEO Don Lee to explain the endowment and how it's used every year to ensure the Crusade continues to change lives. I think of the endowment as something like an insurance policy. It helps guarantee that 100% of money raised during our annual telethon goes directly toward helping children with special needs. Here's how it works. Every year, the endowment covers the cost of operations, things that are considered overhead, like salaries and equipment. That means all traditional donations, whether dropped off in a firefighter boot or handed over at a lemonade stand, go directly toward helping kids. The endowment has provided an avenue for individuals to create legacies in many different ways, through their IRA, their estate planning, gifts of stocks or mutual funds, or required distributions from their retirement accounts. We are grateful to each person whose trust in the crusade allows us to continue making life better for children with special needs. We couldn't do it without the ongoing support of this incredible community. I'm happy to report that 100% of the money you saw on our June tote board is already at work. 225 grants were awarded to agencies, schools, and hospitals in Kentucky and Indiana. On behalf of the families who rely on Crusade-funded help, thank you for investing in building the future of the Crusade Endowment. It's truly amazing that every cent of this year's $5.1 million went towards the grants Don mentioned that will help children with special needs. One of the grant recipients this year is the I Can Bike Camp held at Bellarmine University. As you see in this story, it wouldn't be possible without your help. Good job. My name is Crystal Benson and my son is Christian and today we're at the I Can Bike Camp. We're going to go straight, okay? Christian needed to know how to ride a bike. He's very interested in knowing how to ride a bike. He has sisters and brother he wants to ride bikes with and friends. And so we found out about this camp and he became old enough for this camp. And so here we are. My name is Beth Ennis. There it is. I'm the chair of the physical therapy program here at Bellarmine University. We are helping children with some kind of diagnosis learn to ride a bike. It is a week-long intense camp that we work from basically wobble bikes on up to riding a two-wheeler without any training wheels or other supports. So Christian has autism. He is nonverbal, and so um, some things are just a little harder for him. But opportunities like this are great for him because this will get him into more social 
situation if he gets to ride bikes with his friends. During this way, Sarah. We got a grant from the crusade four years ago and we're able to bring the camp here and have been able to continue to do that. To this program specifically, we couldn't have it without those grants because we don't charge the families for this camp. Go! As a parent, I'm very grateful for what the Crusade for Children does, particularly for my child. There's lots of opportunities for him to do things that he would have a lot of trouble doing in a normal setting. And we're very grateful and, and don't know how to say thank you enough. Show me that turn. It's my favorite week of the year. Um, we have families who come in who say, well, we'll give this a try, right? It's probably not going to work. We're going to be putting the training wheels back on. This is fine. And when they see them on the tandem and when they see them launch on Wednesday on two wheels, one of the things we always tell moms is wear waterproof mascara because... There are going to be tears this week. <laughs> One of the simplest things you can do and funnest thing you can do as a kid. But she, so now he gets that opportunity because of Crusade and because of the donations. When that boot is handed out or um, when fun drives happen or when the telethon happens, please support them because we couldn't do this without them. And every single thing that I have seen the Crusade involved with changes people's lives and you can't put a price on it. <laughs> what an awesome message there from Beth and Crystal. Heartfelt gratitude for donations from folks just like you. You can be part of building the future by mailing your year-end donation to 520 West Chestnut Street, Louisville, Kentucky 40202 or give online at whascrusade.org. That's whascrusade.org. If you want to give by phone, leave a message and someone at the WHAS Crusade for Children will get back to you. That's 582-7706, 582-7706. With the ease of doing so much online these days, there are several more creative ways of giving. Here's the Crusade's Director of Philanthropy, Heather Benson, with a look at some non-traditional ways to give. Technology has made supporting the WHAS Crusade for Children easier than ever. Donate online safely and securely by visiting whascrusade.org. You can donate from your smartphone through a popular money sharing app such as Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. You can even credit your fire department in the comments section, just like you can when you donate online. If you own an Alexa device, tell it that you would like to donate to the Crusade for Children. The donation will deduct from the card you have on file with your Amazon account. Finally, as you do your holiday shopping, don't forget to designate the Crusade as your charity of choice on Amazon Smile and Kroger Community Rewards. A percentage of your purchases will be donated back to the kids. Today, the Crusade has received nearly $25,000 from shoppers just like you through their Amazon and Kroger purchases. There are even more ways you can be part of something very special and making sure the crusade for children continues on for many more years. We'll now hear from our group of financial experts discussing these other ways of giving that you may have never knew existed, beginning with Jay Dorch, who's going to explain more about the management of the crusade endowment funds. My name is Jay Dorch. I'm with Financial Strategies Group, and we serve in the capacity of managing the endowment for the WHS Crusade for Children. And we want the donors and the supporters and the benefactors to take confidence in knowing that the way the money is managed is in alignment with the mission for the Crusade for Children. So when we started working with the Crusade and building the portfolio, one of the things that was apparent is we wanted to position the portfolio for long-term growth, but also have some safety nets put in place in case of unexpected events like the current pandemic that we're in and that there's going to be capital available to make sure we can uh, meet the needs of the agency schools and the hospitals. So there are two major ways to gift monies to the crusade. One is during your lifetime, and the second is with an estate plan. Uh, the first during your lifetime, one of the things we'd like people to consider is look inside their portfolio and see if there's highly appreciated stock within their portfolio that might be more efficient to give. And what we mean by that, you can gift the stock and get a deduction for the full fair market value of the security, but then also 
you get to alleviate a future tax burden that you would have personally. The second way of gifting is, is through your estate plan. So what we would encourage people to do is to consider the crusade be included in the estate plan and a beneficiary uh, at your death. My name is James Whitlow. Uh, I've had the opportunity to write hundreds and hundreds of wills. What people need to understand is that when they write a will, it is very simple to include a special bequest to a charity. I've been fortunate and take great pride in the fact that I've had several families to leave uh, a large endowment uh, to the crusade, primarily for two reasons. One is, is that they have a endowment program that pays all expenses, so for a dollar for dollar that you, that you contribute, it goes to the charity. And the second reason is that it re is returned to the community in which it donates it. I'm Megan Reynolds, a partner with Strothman & Company, a Louisville-based regional CPA firm. I've been involved with the Crusade for Children for a number of years now. I currently serve as treasurer and am a member of the board of directors. One of the ways that individuals can benefit from making donations to the Crusade for Children is through the charitable contribution deduction on their personal tax return. The WHAS Crusade for Children is a 501c3 public charity, which means you can take a deduction on your tax return for such donations. The deduction you will receive on your tax return depends on your personal tax situation and our ever-evolving tax laws. The two ways to understand the deduction are based on whether you itemize your deductions on your return typically or not. Currently, for 2021, individuals who do not itemize their deductions can take up to a $300 deduction for single taxpayers or a $600 deduction for taxpayers who are married and file a joint tax return. As always, 100% of traditional donations received throughout the year and during the annual telethon are used to help children with special needs. For those of you who are age 72 and have entered required minimum distributions with your IRA assets and you do not need the income, one of the things you may want to consider is making the crusade the beneficiary of your required minimum distributions. So as you think through these strategies, one thing we'd like to encourage you to do is seek some tax advice from your CPA or sit down with your financial advisor and they can certainly help you come up with a philanthropic giving strategy that works for you and your family and also for the crusade. The Crusade Endowment is extremely grateful every year for the donors who remember the Crusade for Children in their wills. We honor this year's donors in memoriam. Robert Paul Briscoe, $10,000. Jesse and Louise Day, $6,621.27. Jane C. Evans, $301,500. Chief Leonard Height, $10,000. Martin B. Lewis, $33,125.09. Wells Thomas Meyer, $275,082. Janice Muntan, $49,663.16. Dr. Dan Padgett, $101,549. Frank Ruth, $21,107.79. Earl Schwartz, $5,000. Cynthia Shaw, $100,000. Mary Utley, $75,000. Clarice Anita Wilson, $131,245.35. Janet Faye Worrell, $31,260.10. Ann and Herman Zeller, $137,098.94. And Mary Helen Zimmerman, $37,711.73. This year, the Crusade for Children Telethon reached a huge milestone. Not only did we finish with $5.1 million, but we also reached a grand total of over $200 million raised since back in 1954. Well, that's massive. Since the beginning, 100% of that money has gone to the kids, and that continues to this day. Here's another example of how your donation changes a child's life every day. This is Graham's story. My name's Kyle Brown. This is my wife, Valerie. Uh, we've got three kids, Kylie, who's 10, Graham is nine, and Xavier, five. Uh, Graham is on the autism spectrum. Uh, we saw some signs when he was young. He wasn't meeting the milestones 
um, that he was supposed to. We got into the diagnosis and um, he was diagnosed when he was two. Okay, here, let's put red away and we'll come work for blue, okay? What we have found in our journey is that it is very expensive to raise a child on the spectrum and to get them the resources that they need. You know, we had been shut down with uh, the pandemic. Uh, he was pulled away from a lot of the resources that he had uh, been accustomed to, to getting, therapies. Um, and we really saw a lot of regression in his behavior. <laughs> Good job. Um, his speech uh, was a little bit more delayed. He struggled with communicating with us effectively, and we knew that he needed some direct one-on-one um, -on -one intervention, and we found that here in BCA. It, it's an environment that we can't provide at home. It's something where they have the resources. What bag has a Y on it? So they have the special rooms, the people, the, the experience to know how to meet him and, and to push him where he needs to be pushed. And because of organizations like the Crusade, um, you know, we're able to find uh, staff and find therapists and individuals that can help Graham um, where it's needed most. There have been so many families that have come before us that have really uh, made pathways um, and that have made resources available that weren't there 20 years ago. And it's because of those families and organizations like the Crusade that have funded programs um, that have been able to, to really help kids on the spectrum, not just at an early age, but as they go into adulthood. We just want to say thank you to the Crusade and all those that um, give generously. We appreciate it. Um, our Graham gets to uh, enjoy um, being well taken care of and, and learning, and we are so thankful. I would encourage anyone to give to the Crusade. Um, it's very important that these programs at, at BCA continue to be funded. Uh, we are the direct beneficiaries of the programs and the services that are offered here, and Graham's life is, is better because of it, because of the people here uh, that love and care for him and that are helping him on his journey. And it's because of organizations like the Crusade um, that that'll be accomplished. If you want to see more stories like Graham's that show your donations at work, check out all of the Crusade's social media pages and platforms. Here's the Crusade for Children's Marketing Director, Deandra Jackson, to tell you more. Hi, I want to invite you to follow us on all social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. Just search for WHAS Crusade for Children on any of these platforms and follow us for great content. There's always something new on our pages, including inspirational and uplifting videos and photos of children who have been helped by your donations to the WHAS Crusade for Children, as well as information on family-friendly events hosted by fire departments and other groups. Like and share our posts, and please tag us and use our hashtag, WHAS Crusade. Lastly, I want to remind Kentucky residents that you can take us on the road. Get your WHAS Crusade for Children license plate at your county clerk's office. Go to WHASCrusade.org to learn more about how you can change a child's life. 100% for the kids. Those are some great ways to stay connected to the crusade and also raise money to help children with special needs. And speaking of raising money for the kids, we never want to forget the efforts of our firefighters who every year go above and beyond collecting for the crusade for children. Yeah, and let's not forget the organizations or businesses with the largest year to year donation increase. Here's the crusades John Blim to bring you this year's annual Jim Walton and Phyllis Knight award winners. The Crusade recognizes fire departments that go above and beyond. It's called the Walton Memorial Trophy. Named for Mr. Crusade Jim Walton, host of the WHAS Crusade for Children from 1954 to 1979. Walton trophies are awarded to fire departments with the largest percentage increase in collections from one year to the next. Here are the winners for 2021. In the first category, fire departments that raise $1,000 to $10,000, congratulations Woodford County Fire Department with an amazing increase of 975% from last year. On uh, behalf of the Woodford County Fire Department, it's like to say it's an honor to receive the plaque this year. All the firefighters really enjoy 
the collection for, for what the crusade does and are glad that it helps the kids in our community. It's the first year since I've been on the fire department that uh, we didn't have Captain Ron Ingram with us. Uh, he was our go-to person for the crusade every year and uh, Ron really enjoyed it. Next up in departments that raise $10,000 to $50,000, congratulations Pee Wee Valley Fire Protection District. Up an unheard of 2,100% from last year. $240,619.30 from Bill Earth. This is a great honor. Um, in my time on the fire department, I never really thought we'd get this award. I've known Bill Hurt for a long time, and uh, we got that letter in the mail that he had left money to the Crusade for Children. We didn't know how much, but it was uh, pretty exciting to find out. I think all these gentlemen uh, back here were, were surprised when we sat down on Saturday and told them how much money that we were gonna be donating to the Crusade for Children. So thanks again to Bill Hurt and his family for their generous contribution. Next, we congratulate Zonton Fire Protection District, winner of the category of departments that raise $50,000 to $100,000, with an incredible 254% hike. On behalf of all the members here at Zonton Fire, we're very grateful for the, the Walton Award that we received this year, and all of our community, uh, our surrounding departments, Oakland and Shepherdsville, we all pitched in um, and were able to, to go above and beyond this year in memory of Chief Orkies and Chief Key. Uh, they were huge in the crusade, and I know that they're smiling ear to ear, um, knowing that we got this and, and that we're very grateful. It's a great pleasure to be able to do this and raise the money. The money that we raise stays inside of uh, our community and without the support of our people in our community that we, uh, we rely on every year, uh, we wouldn't be able to raise this money. And our final category covers departments that raise $100,000 and above. Congratulations, Fern Creek Fire Department up an astonishing 104% from 2020. We just want to say a special thank you to, uh, to the Crusade um, coordinators, the Crusade office, all those who have helped out throughout the years and making every effort to, to reassure them. Us as a community and as first responders that you know what we do is going 100% back to the kids. We're especially thankful that we had the ability to, to give our donations in honor of Sergeant Kyle Adams and his family. And uh, I want to say a special thank you to uh, Chief Driesback and the Jefferstown Fire Protection District, Chief Adam Jones and the Butchel Fire Protection District, because we wouldn't receive the Walton Trophy Award today if it wasn't for their uh, contributions in his honor. Two other fire departments far exceeded their totals from last year. Congratulations, Shelby County Fire and Rescue, along with Monroe Township Fire Department. We also honor a business or organization with the largest percentage increase. The Phyllis Knight Award is in honor of pioneering broadcaster Phyllis Knight. She was among the first female broadcasters in Louisville and later became the first full-time executive director of the Crusade for Children. For the second straight year, the Phyllis Knight Award and our congratulations goes to LG&E with an increase of 61% from last year. LG&E and KU is honored to receive the Phyllis Knight Award for the second year in a row. This award is a testament to the generosity of our employees and our donations, which have increased every year. I am proud to serve on the Crusade Board and support its mission. LG&E and KU prides itself in giving back to the communities in which we serve and supporting the Crusade is one way we do that. Thanks to everyone whose dedication and donations help make life better for children with special needs. It's truly amazing that every year the firefighters, organizations, and businesses come through for children with special needs. If you're wondering whether you can make a difference in a child's life, here's one more look at how donations to the endowment are crucial to facilities just like Green Hill Therapy. This is Wayland's story. Well, my son Wayland is doing his occupational therapy. He was born with cerebral palsy, and that affects his muscles. Yeah, I'm just doing what I do. He's been coming here for eight years, since he was three years old. <gasps> Prior to him turning three to be able to come here, we did some research and found the place. And so I thought it would be a good fit for him. So 
So Green Health Therapy is a nonprofit organization and we provide highly specialized occupational, physical, and speech therapy services to children with special needs. But in addition to that, we incorporate hippotherapy, and that is we use the horse's movements from a very scientific-based approach, and it maximizes the impact of therapy to provide and produce meaningful functional outcomes. Yeah. The therapists are great with him. Um, it's a great place to be. They're really nice. Prior to coming, he kept his hands fisted quite a bit and working with his hands helps him open up his hands and be able to grab stuff, hold on to stuff. Nice job! So for the past year and a half, of course, due to social distancing measures and keeping everybody safe, we haven't had the hippotherapy program. She's looking at me. So what's really exciting is that we're bringing the horses back. It's been very interesting to see the parallel between the horses and the kids. The horses are training to become bigger, stronger, and more confident, as are the kids. Oh, I get teary eyed. <laughs> oh, because he's just so special. And he was born with these disabilities on no fault of his own. Crusade has donated to us very graciously for many years. It is very expensive to run a therapy clinic and on top of that a 10 acre horse farm and it just wouldn't be possible without the crusade. Without the money from the crusade um, there wouldn't be programs like this for Wayland to participate in. Come on, come on, come on. It makes me happy but it makes me sad because there's certain things he can't do that other kids can but coming here and doing the therapy it helps him to potentially reach the things that he can't do that other kids can do. And I try to help him with any therapy he can do to reach his full potential. What we do here is really hard work, but it's so rewarding because we get to see the kids grow and meet milestones they otherwise may not have. And it is something that is, I take and I'm very proud of. And I would like to say thank you to the crusade and the endowment because it would not be possible without you all. And if there's anybody out there considering to donate, please do. You will be providing a lasting legacy that will be helping so many kids that are very special and very worthy and full of potential. Wow, what a powerful testament to the direct effect your donations can have on a child's life. There's still time for you to help us in building the future for children of Kentucky and Indiana. You can make a year-end gift online at whascrusade.org or call 502-582-7706. From your smartphone, you can donate using Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal, or you can also scan the QR code on the screen. There are so many ways to donate and make a difference. Whether it's through wills, stocks, IRAs, or dropping money in a firefighter's boot, you can be assured that 100% of your donations go directly to helping the kids. On behalf of Haley and myself, the WHAS Crusade for Children, and the countless children that have been helped over the last 68 years, we want to say thanks. Thank you for watching and helping to build a financially secure future for our children with special needs. And make this year's crusade.